how can I help you today? You can help me with like mostly my neck, my back, and probably my ankles. I'm always on my feet because I do a lot of pageantry, so I'm always in heels. Okay. And then I did gymnastics for about like 13 or 14 years. So. How long have you had low back pain for? Since I started gymnastics, since I was like little. Okay. Very, you said you were in gymnastics for 13, 14 years. Yeah. And how old are you now? I'm 21 now. Do you ever have pain that goes down your legs? Sometimes. Okay. One leg more than the other or? No, about equal. Same? Okay, very good. No numbness or tingling in your toes, feet? No. I, mean, I was in a car accident, but other than that. Okay. When no. were you in a car accident? In around like Halloween of I think like two years ago. I had to go to the hospital, that's about it. Okay. Did they take x-rays of you? Yeah, did they did like an MRI on like my head and stuff. Okay. But. And it was all good? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> when does your neck hurt? Does it hurt in the morning? Does it hurt at night when you've been using it all day? Usually when, as soon as I like wake up in the mornings, but then okay. I like crack it myself. So do you crack once a day or more than that? About like maybe once in the morning, once at night, depends. Oh, how much water do you drink? <laughs> I'll be lucky if I get like a glass a day. Okay, all right, good. That's a good easy start then. <laughs> yeah, for your neck, for sure. A lot of times when you have to crack your own neck, it's, it's your joints are dehydrated. You've never been adjusted before? No. <laughs> How do you feel about it? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I've seen like a lot of things about it and like I know a few people that's got it done and they said it's so relieving, but then I'm just like, I see all these videos and I'm like, oh my God, that was loud. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know. <laughs> okay, very good, that's fair. So we're gonna start off with an exam on your spine. I'll explain everything that I'm doing while I'm doing. If you have any questions, just shout them out. Uh, let's see what your spine says, and then I'll get you adjusted, okay? Okay, sounds good. <laughs> okay, so you said you said pageantry. Yeah. Tell me about that. What's that, like, involve? Well, we do mostly interviews, like, our major, like, point where our points and stuff get taken from, and then we do, like, evening gown. We do, um, like, high fashion. We do swimsuit and stuff, so, like, when I'm in, like, heels all day, that's where... Gotcha. This comes in. <laughs> okay, so like, so like Miss America is like it's is like the most famous pageantry that I know of. Or pageant. Um, yeah. So I just competed for Miss Pennsylvania, and then I previously did a pageant before that, and I won Miss Pennsylvania, uh, USA Petite. I just won Miss East Coast, USA Petite. So cool. Yeah. East Coast Miss <laughs> Pennsylvania, East Coast Petite. Okay, cool. What's um. Are there requirements? What are the requirements to be in the petite pageantry? So like, that's what for, level? That's for like girls who are usually five, six, and under. Because most of the women who are in like the USA okay. system are usually five, seven, or five, eight that win it. Okay. But they've changed the rules quite a bit to even enter it anymore. So it's been opening up more broad like spectrums, I guess you could say. Okay, good. But all right. So congratulations, my life. Oh, thank you. Okay, looking at the feet first, there's a little bit of external rotation. No, there was on the turnaround. Go and turn around, go the other way. All right, so looking at the feet first, there's no internal external rotation, no inversion, eversion. I don't see any pronation or supination. That's good. Okay, looking at the shoulders, we had a left high shoulder. It's evident in the hip height, too. Arms are looking stiff. Let me just see. Give me a, a nice brisk walk, <laughs> briskly walk. Good, okay, so their arm swing looks even. You can see it coming in uh, uh, evenly on both sides of the body. Looking at the hip swing, it looks like we are restricted moving to the right and slightly, uh, uh, slightly more movement moving to the left. All right, arches, uh, uh, we are flattened on this left arch and pronated on the left, but it's slightly, I couldn't see it during the walk. It's only one dimple on the SI joint. That's crazy. There's usually two. All right, so <clears throat> we're going to start off with a very gentle scan on the top of your spine, okay? Okay. okay I'm going to do a temperature scan with the back of my fingers. Pretty even here. 
there's a little bit more heat coming off at the very top of the shoulders here in the trapezius area. But overall, this is very symmetrical. There's no curvatures here. It seems like you have a little bit of a, <clears throat> your, the musculature here in this part of your spine on the left is working much harder than this on the right. Like this is a big knot right here. Okay, I'm gonna push a little bit deeper into the muscles. Okay, any tenderness here? Tender, discomfort? No. Tender, discomfort? No. Should it be? <laughs> no, that's fine. That, that's okay here too? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's see this. Turn to the left. Good. Keep your feet flat. I'm going to push into your spine. Any pain there? Discomfort? No. That's good. I'm going to turn to the right. Good. Good. Okay, straight away. Okay, I'm going to check your scapula. There's just some muscle stuff going on up here in your left shoulder. A little bit of a, of a flattening here in, in this curve. This could be a little bit more pronounced, but it's this is all within normal limits. No red flags here, no curvatures, no herniated discs, no pinched nerves or anything like that. Just some postural stuff and some muscular stuff. Okay, well, that's good. <laughs> yeah. All right, scooch forward to the end of the table a little bit more. Okay, so your feet are flat on the ground? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. All right, so I'm going to place my hands on the top of your hip bones, okay? Okay. okay this helps me find the, the level. Um, keeping your feet on the ground, move your knees further apart from each other. Good. Back to center. Good. Open. Close. Open, close. Good movement on the EX and IN, internal and external rotation, maybe slightly less on the left. Feel that? <laughs> The ticklish? <laughs> yes, okay, bring your chin down to your chest. Good up. Down. Good one more time down to your chest. Good movement there. Good, great movement there. Okay, we're gonna bring your left ear down to your shoulder like this. Good. Right side. Good. Any pain, discomfort? No. All right, I'm going to test your glute folds. So you're going to feel my fingertips on the back of your hamstrings, okay? okay? Okay. I'm going to slide up to the bottom. We're slightly lower on the right, which means this is come posterior and inferior like that. And then looking from the top, possible external, so possible PIEX on the right ilium like this, or ASIN on the left. Okay, any pain, discomfort when I push there? No. Any pain or discomfort when I push here? No. Alright, I'm gonna put blocks underneath of your hips. Okay, just okay. Okay, down. Good. Okay, let me do the next one, okay? Good and down. Tender? Yeah. This side tender? Yeah. This one too? Mm hmm. Which one more? One, two, three. Uh, two and three more.
nice gentle breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Okay, nice gentle breathing. Let your shoulders relax here. Good. Left, right. Left. How's that pressure okay? Mm -hmm. Ticklish or what? Here's so funny. What's that? <laughs> Feels funny? Mm -hmm. You're taking it like a champ. Most people can't just sit there and take this. <laughs> right, are you, you're familiar with ASMR, yes? Yes. Okay, so um, are you familiar with sound medicine? Do you know what that is? No. Let your shoulders relax here. There you go. The sound is used as a vehicle to keep us present in the room, keeps our consciousness present, keeps our mind aware of the moment. Are you familiar with mindfulness, being aware of the moment? Yes. Okay. And so the sound is what brings us in. So are you familiar with like, shh, like Native Americans, like banging on drums? And, yes, I'm Native. And, you're Native American? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, so this is the rattle, and then I'm going to do a massage technique called tapotiment, like this. That's the drum. And so in all shamanic sound medicine ceremonies, mostly all shamanic ceremonies, the idea is to bring our consciousness, our awareness, into a trance-like state. And when our mind is in that dimension, it makes information more accessible. So like information on what you need to do about your spine or information about like something that your dad has to tell you in some, I don't know why. Or bringing your mind into that trance-like state allows for a type of letting go. So sometimes we hold on to things that are not useful to us anymore. And, uh, and entering the trance state can help us let go of things or access things. Kind of depends on what the intention is. The basis for all shamanic ceremony is to have an intention. 
And so right now our intention is to just to help you out with your neck pain and your back pain. That's the easy stuff. Okay. But if you wanted to make another intention silently right now, that's fine too. And that was a good change in your breath as soon as as soon as I did that. So as soon as I said that you changed your breathing, which is good.
nice gentle breathing a little stretch here in your spinal cord Okay, so let's practice one first just so you can feel what it's like, okay? So you're gonna take a deep breath in, and then as you breathe out, I'm gonna follow your breath with my hands like this. Good, and then we're just pushing at the end of your breath like that. Okay. Okay, now let your shoulders sink in. Good, there it is. Good, following your breath, no little push like that, okay? Okay. It's already moving, do that again in. And out. Shoulders sinking. Oh my god. That felt so weird. Okay, same thing. Shoulders relax. Good. Deep breathing in through your nose. Good. Okay, this one's a little bit different. This time we're gonna push at the top of the in-breath, so you're gonna take a deep breath in and then we push, okay? Okay. Okay, deep breath in, far as you can go. And out, let your back relax. Good, good. Which side was native, dad's side or mom's side? I get dad's side. Yeah. This is how we check the low back. So keeping your knee straight here, mm -hmm. lift this whole leg in the air. Good, down, down. Relax, all the way down, good. Okay, left, down, right, down, and left. Good, down, all right. All right, I'm gonna bend your knees, don't help me, okay? Let me do it. Okay. Right, short, stay short. Okay, gentle breathing in through your nose and out. We're gonna bring this down. Good, and out. Good, a little bit more. Okay, you're a gymnast, so you're very flexible. <laughs> We're almost there. Good, good, gotcha, right there. Good, good. <laughs> okay, breathing, good. I'm gonna stretch your shoulders this way. Good, hip coming down, good. Another breath, and out. Good, bring this down. Lay your back. That one was loud, huh? Okay, Shay, this is how we check the neck. Okay. So turn your head to the right, back to center, now to the left, center. Are you left handed? No. All right, let's do this. Bring your right ear down to your shoulder. 
center, left ear down, center. Okay, I'm gonna do some very gentle traction. Like okay. Massage to just start loosening up your spine, okay? Okay. Any gentle breathing, just completely let your head sink in. Okay, this is a range of motion test, just try to like sink in, let me feel your head. Okay, I'm gonna start off on the left side. So your head is good, nice and loosey-goosey here. I'm just gonna use my fingers just like the other ones. We're gonna follow your breath, and at the end of your breath, we push in that direction like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be that much different from when you do it. Okay, gentle breathing, good. Good, nice, nice soft breath. Good, one more. Like, I don't know. <laughs> okay, nice and gentle breathing, just like the other ones. Just fine. Oh, let me test first and just see where we're at here. Good, Miss Super Flexible USA. Here we go. We'll do the right <laughs> side. Seven, six, five. Okay, we're going to adjust it way down here, just like the other ones. I'm following your breath, and then we're pushing like that, okay? Okay, good. You're doing fantastic. All you have to do is breathe. Good. Just like that. Good. Let it all go. I wasn't as bad as that. So I got the one at the very bottom, which is really hard to crack on your own. Let's just, and I think that's all of it. Let's just let's, let this sink here. This should have been all of it. Let's talk about, first of all, let's talk about why you have a fear when someone touches you. I don't have a fear. I just don't like feet. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to very gently crack your toes. Okay. Okay. Nothing to be afraid of. This is just super light. Not bad, right? Well, I used to do this to my sister because it would tweak her. So for the ankle adjustment, I'm gonna hold onto your foot here like this, and then we're gonna pull down like that, okay? Okay. Go let your foot relax. Good job, one more. Let this relax.
Okay, this is a pubic bone adjustment. So what you're gonna do is squeeze my fist in between your knees. Okay. Good, squeeze. As hard as you can. Okay, that's good. All right, push your knees out to the side now. Push. Out to the side? Yep, uh-huh, push. Put your head flat though, put your head straight. Good, push, 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 All right, so this is uh, the organs of digestion manipulation. Okay, so I'm gonna manipulate your organs now. <laughs> okay. Here <clears throat> okay, we start with it. The... I'm so giggly. Okay, go ahead. All right, so uh, we start off with the ileocecal valve. This is the valve in between the large and the small intestine. Okay. Okay. So we find this by first finding the belly button here. Okay. Then the ASIS here. We okay. connect these two points. We start looking from there. And if you had breakfast any time in the last hour to four hours, we might see some activity here. Is this tender? This feels like it would be tender. Yeah. It's 12.45 now. Like he says, I don't really eat much in the mornings. Mm -hmm. Okay, this next is the pyloric sphincter. This is the window where the stomach empties into the small intestine. So if you ate any time in the last hour, within the last two hours, we might find some activity here. Is that one tender right there? Mm-hmm. That's the valve. The diaphragm okay. is your breathing muscle. Okay. So we're just going to start on the left side. Good, nice, deep belly breathing. Tender. You're doing good. Almost there. It's your tongue. Come on, let me see it, put it, see if I am. Okay, you need to drink more water. Oh and, 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 you take, <laughs> and you need to take some B vitamins too. Some what? Okay, I'm gonna raise the legs up on the table. Okay. This is a full spine adjustment, Shay. Is it gonna kill me? No, it's gonna do the opposite. All right, so um, basically, I'm just gonna feel your spine on the exhale, just like the other ones. You're breathing in and out through your nose, and then at the end of your breath, we pull in that direction like that, okay? Okay. All right, so let's do that deep breath in and out. Good, same thing, do that one more time, and just let your shoulders and hips sink in here. Good. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that was so weird. Oh. Holy cow. Am I broken? <laughs> oh my god, that felt so weird. Mm -hmm. Oh my god.
All right, let's see. Jump up. Take it for a test drive. Oh, look. How does it feel? A lot more relaxed in my muscles and stuff. Like my spine feels a lot better. Okay, good. Neck, shoulders, anything going on up there? My neck feels a lot better. Okay, good. Like it's not as tight. Look straight ahead. Let it go. Good. Loose, 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 loose. Cool. Hard as you can. Good. Mine cracked. No, 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 don't do that. <laughs> okay, this is a pulse reading, but I'm not just measuring rate rhythm and, and uh, amplitude like in Western medicine. <laughs> Traditional Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic medicine, which is ancient India medicine. There are six points on each side, allowing us to measure 12 different organ systems. But you've got some native blood in you, so that's, that should be fine. So you never wanted to ride horses, huh? Hmm? You never wanted to ride horses? I have. Like, you did it? Like, seriously? Yeah. yeah. So it feels like, I, don't, I didn't want to be so stereotypical and be like, hmm, you're native? <laughs> you must have liked horse riding. <laughs> you're tough. Mostly fire. You have a lot of fire. You're a pretty stubborn person, aren't you? Always get your way. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> Okay, repeat after me. Hawaneo. Hawaneo. Het Guana. Now say it all at once. Hawaneo. Het Guana. Hawaneo. Wait. Say it again. Hawaneo. Hawaneo. Het Guana. Het Guana. Hawaneo. Hawaneo. Het Guana. Het Guana. Angi. <clears throat> now all once. How when you had go hana angi? How when you? 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 How when you?
Het kuhana. Het kuhana. Angi. How was it? How was your first chiropractic adjustment? <laughs> Scary, but not as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah, it was good. But, but it feels so much more like, not as tense, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. It feels good.